Do you have a minute for God? If you're a follower of Christ, please copy link and share this video to plant the seeds of the gospel to save more souls. Today I'm talking about something more serious about relationship because People are hurting, people are broken. And King David, he reminds us that there's two key factors that we should have in relationship, which is commitment and trust. Found in Psalms chapter 37, verse 5 to 6. Commitment, commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He will do it. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light. Commitment and trust are two crucial parts of a thriving relationship. Without these two factors, the relationship would be in shambles, there would be pain, there would be heartbreak. We're living in a culture of hook up and break up, hook up and break up. No commitment and hearts are being broken, hearts are being numb. And it's just a just a cycle now and it's a downward spiral and people are going through depression and pain because of the betrayal of their trust in people. And it's a painful time and hard time to live. We see divorce at an all-time high of 50% or more. And that's due to the lack of commitment and trust. You know, someone is committed to you. God is committed to you 100%. And He will raise you up and continue fighting for you. When you put your faith and trust in Him. When you declare Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Commitment is not a one-way road. We can't expect one person to be committed 100% and another pe to be 50%. No, that doesn't work. Commitment works when both parties are 100% committed to one another. And beautiful things will happen and long-lasting, trusting relationships will happen. You see, I was not always in a good place. I went through a toxic relationship. I went through gaming addiction. I went through no direction in my life before. However, one day, I decided to put my full trust in the Lord and commitment to Him. And He gave me direction. And He pulled me out of that gaming addiction. And He gave me a wife who loves the Lord and is 100% committed to me and God. What a blessing. It's God who made all that happen. It may not have happened overnight, but you will ultimately see God redeeming you and giving you a clean slate and helping you move forward in life and give, clothing you with righteousness. And you will have that testimony of God coming through in a life, transforming you and turning your life around. So I invite you to declare Jesus as your Lord and Savior, to commit to Him. If you feel like you leveled up, please follow Pastor Josh Penn. Stay strong, my brothers and sisters. Greater things are yet to come. All glory to God, commit to Him, and many blessings.